Okay, for this installation, we've also chosen to replace the Bimini support poles. Now, these, these poles support the back of the A-bow and, in effect, eliminates the rear uh, support straps. It also does another thing. So a lot of times, you don't want the, the Bimini deployed. So with these support poles, you can lay that Bimini back at an angle, secure it there for while you're using the boat or for trailering. That way it doesn't have to lay all the way back down against the gunnels. Now, we've chosen to install the adjustable support poles. So these will adjust with the height so you can physically change the angle that the Bimini lays back when it's in the non-use position. But we also offer fixed length ones, which you can cut to match whatever length and angle you want your Bimini to stay at. So, the Bimini support pole comes with a deck mount similar to what came with the Bimini top. One difference is it has a thumb screw so that these can be easily removed from the deck mounts for when you do want to drop the top all the way down. So you can see the support poles come with adjustable tube. They're adjustable from 28 to 38 inches. We secure it with this adjuster. Now, here again, this top was already fitted with one of these. So we're going to mount it into the existing hardware and come right up to the frame. So now it's a matter of sliding this jaw slide up, placing the screw into that end, tighten it up. Now we need our Allen screw, position our top where we want it, tighten that down to finish that assembly. Now you would repeat this whole procedure from deck mount through jaw slide on the opposite side of this top for the normal installation. Here again, we're lucky we've got a retrofit we're doing here today.